chemicorns, 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 I'm so tired. I've only had three hours of sleep. Oh god, I'm so stressed out. If only I had some coffee, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why those side effects happen to you? It's because of caffeine. Have you ever wondered how much caffeine is in your everyday beverage? Well, have no fear. The chemicorns are here. With Dr. Alex Bruman. With Dr. Emily Bingham. And me. With Dr. Alma Perez. With Dr. Jasmine Romero. And to extract caffeine from Starbucks via French Rose Coffee, Rockstar Super Sour Bubble Berry, Bigelow Green Tea, Bigelow Black Tea, and Pepsi. We used Adelastite and Anhydrous Sodium Sulfate. Mm -hmm. Due to the extreme hazards that ethanol acetate and anhydrous sodium sulfate contain, the chemical energies control products such as water and sugar to represent the materials. It is a makeshift experiment due to the lack of proper materials and ventilation, but does represent the same process the chemical energies took. To begin, the chemical measured out a half serving size of the drink, which is approximately 120 milliliters. The drink we are focusing on right now is the black tea. And to make the black tea, we place it into the 120 milliliters of solvent, and we boil vigorously. Since ethyl acetate has a boiling point of 77.1 degrees Celsius, the temperature of the tea has to be below that so the acetate does not boil. The next step is adding 30 milliliters of ethyl acetate into the tea beverage with your handy dandy glass pipette. You will add 30 milliliters of ethyl acetate into the tea beverage. After you add the ethyl acetate, you shake it gently, gently, and you cover it with parafilm. After covering, poke a hole in the parafilm to release all vapors that are being created while the mixture settles. After 10 minutes, you will be able to see the separation between the tea and the ethyl acetate and you will be able to take off this the wrap and put in your sodium sulfide. In order to remove the water molecules from the ethanol acetate, you add 1 16th teaspoon of anhydrous sodium sulfide into the mixture and that should remove the water molecules. As you can see, all that will be um, left is caffeine and ethyl acetate in the top layer. And it will be moving down, as you can kind of see, taking all the wire molecules away. Big. The tea beverage is no longer needed in this experiment. To extract the ethyl acetate and the caffeine, we use a micro glass pipette. And we extract by sucking mostly all of the ethyl acetate layer into the micro pipette and place it in a different beaker that is clean. And you try to get as much as possible without getting any of the tea beverage. In order to separate the caffeine from ethyl acetate, you boil the solvent at ethyl acetate's boiling point, 77.1 degrees Celsius, which evaporates the ethyl acetate and leaves the caffeine. Because of the small amount of ethyl acetate, we will boil the mixture as soon as the ethyl acetate evaporated, the caffeine starts burnt. As so. So this affected the rest of our experiment in that we could not sublime the caffeine to get its pure form. So we took a clean beaker of similar size, weighed it, and weighed the beaker with the burnt caffeine and took the difference, getting the amount of caffeine in each drink.